All right, guys. So mm. first of all, this is the first admin meeting for 2015, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I'm going to be recording the audio so that anyone that missed it can get it from the admin channel in Slack. So this should be really quick because there's not much that I need to go over with you guys. And I'd hope that you guys have stuff to say. But if you don't, then we can all just get off. So it's up to you, really, how long this goes on for. Um, so I'm just going to run through most of the stuff. I'll stop at each point. So first of all, we have Kalbiri, Ethior, I am Kalmi, Lichgrave, Ryben, Saber, Yobo, and Zarenica here. So that's who's here. First bit is server stuff. And then the next part is network growth. So, um, first of all, we got a new universe. There are a shitload of new stations that we want to add in on top of the stuff that's in there. So anybody that's got a station, if it's on the dock, send me a link so I can download it or Dropbox it to me. Because what I want to do is we want to have a really diverse universe generation for the next gen. So that the exploration is more fun for the new players and for the old ones. So that's the reason for the reset. It's got nothing to do with patches or anything like that. And we hope to hang on to it for a similar amount of time, say three months. You know, I'd aim for a quarter per build. If we can get away with more than that, great. But in, in the interest of stability, you know, it does start to get a little bit iffy. So, and also we want access to the new content as well, which we will get if we do this. Um, does anybody have anything to say about new universe reset? Yeah, when is that actually idea. going to happen? Because people keep asking me. Well, the fact that people are asking is good because it means there'll be less of a surprise when it happens. Um, yeah. I would say a week to two weeks, and that gives everybody time to get their stuff saved, stop building on it, and uh, think about getting it backed up before we do it. Now, obviously, we are sort of sitting on a time bomb with a random fuse. So, you know, we can make all these plans, but obviously we got to sort of have a, you know, you, you've you got to have somewhere to fall back to if the server falls apart before we get there. Because it, it, it's showing no signs that it's going to do that, but just in case it does, we don't want to have pie in our faces. So, like, you know, when you work, when you when you're backing up your stuff, that's great. But for other people, if they ask questions, you know, um, just bear that in mind with your explanation. All right, so just tell them start backing up and saving all of your stuff you now. Just say, yeah, just yeah. say, look, stop. Don't start any big community projects in the next two weeks, basically. Yes. Right, and... If if unknown, always assume very soon. Yeah, no, well, I would say it's weeks, not months, if not days. It depends how mm. quickly all of the admins and their factions get their stuff together. Okay, because I would know. You just that... be. Hmm? Would it just be easier for me to tell them they've only got a couple of days so they panic and get it done quick? No, because we don't want ah. them thinking that this is a panic, because it's not a ah. panic. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So don't worry about that too much. All right, anybody got anything else about New Universe? Well, I know part of the reason is so that we can get some of the new content. Not the stuff that's already been loaded, or not the stuff that, um, mm -hmm. like, you were going to add already, that is community content but the stuff is stock in the game but we've been uh down and i went on an, a bit of an adventure last night and um we found a lot all the new stations in the home sec uh system oh yeah i know I, so. dude i know that all the new stuff is there but it's a few galaxies over because of the way people have explored no it's in this it's in the home uh, home galaxy yeah but there's 4096 sectors in every star system what i'm saying is where everyone ha is and where they've been going has been generated and all of those places are already done that should be also subject to the new spawn. It's just a case of getting a new universe in so that you've got the content everywhere, not just in places nowhere no one has been. Because I appreciate that if no one's been there, it could spawn new stuff. But we also don't even have everything in there. I think we should have way more than what is in. Like, cause, Fair enough. Yeah, well, even, even if it's stuff that isn't the challenge, just stuff for people to find. It doesn't cost the server any overhead. And it's not going to hurt gameplay because of the scrap thing. Who did we lose? Ethior. Ethior. He left. Where did he go? Uh, Federation faction. 
Shut up. What? Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Should I just move him back? No, no. Okay. Just leave it. It's fine. Move on. Right, okay. So anyway. I'm going to be looking into faction info export so that we can save time for faction owners. Dal mentioned that to me. Is there anything else that we want to keep in mind? It's the everyone gets one rule, right? Uh, no, that's... Kinda... Well, I would say we'll save your station. We're not exporting right. sectors for people anymore. Right. So make yeah. sure... If you guys are going to help out with, you know, saving stuff, make sure you're saving the station not the um not the not actually doing sector exports and i guess on top of that the only other thing is really we got a sorry I'm, oh, got people oh also <laughs> also if you've got a station that you don't want to keep and you'd like to submit it for derelict yeah that's the thing because with the derelict system, there's no balance issue. They've got to buy it in anyway. If they've got the money, well, fair enough. So, you know. Yep. This is what I'm thinking. It adds more for exploration players. Just to go and see stuff. They'll go and see it, and they'll look, poke around it, and then they'll leave. Then they'll probably blow it up. <laughs> Are you going to be grabbing some, if not all, of the uh, original contest entries? Well, I would hope to get them all, yeah. Because they're all... Okay. I would say so, yes, because we've got Most that of them in one file. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've got that in one file, so that should be fine. Okay. I'll, remember, I'll put that in, yeah. We'll go all contest intro. Oh, all contest entries plus member submissions, because we want to make the richest galaxy mm -hmm. for players to fly around in. And if we have that, it gives us another extra thing. Um, obviously, we need to get Zero's new pirates in. Okay. And I remember talking to you about that, Tom. I do have one or two for that as well. Plus and additional they're... special units. Yep, and they're they're balanced. They're that's good. I trust you with that. <clears throat> it's fine. Honestly, guys, anything because that that's all. Players want variety. They want stuff to go and find. They want a reason to explore. This is an opportunity to sort of really tighten up all, all of our features on the server and make it a little bit better for everyone you know so should we yeah. discuss the blueprint system uh, what do you mean some people don't well you know how there's the well, on, new blueprint on. system and you can change it to the old one blah 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 not yet well, a lot yeah well a lot of people don't like the ha, ha, way tough. the new one is oh okay yeah, it's called, i know you can change it back it's called growing pains and we're not <laughs> going to go back to the noob setting where everyone could just spawn in see the problem is mate it requires no skill to spawn in a ship that was created in god mode and admin mode in single player and there is a bit of a skill curve in playing on multiplayer and i think you learn a lot by having to trade or craft or mine or actually think about mining enough or having a ship that can even mine because the problem is you get too many players who literally just build a death brick and then they're confused when they can't buy it in they were confused when they had credits they'll be confused when they have to do it with blocks you know we, we have just as many people saying i haven't got enough money to get my ship in as we do saying i haven't got enough blocks to get my ship in and and to be honest when the factory comes it'll be an intrinsic part of the game so it's getting them ready really i, I know it's a first step towards the, the new system but i don't think it actually takes away from the game and also we do have a double which i'm thinking about going up to triple mining bonus to make it that a little bit easier for people who really don't get it. Yeah, because I always want to point out is lots of people really don't like it. Like when it came out, there were polls and stuff, and it was like yeah, a ten to four no, ratio. No, it wasn't. The old one back. No, no, and then no, there was a third option, and everyone was <laughs> like mixture of both. Okay, whenever you rip a band aid off, it stings. But as you get thing... older, you come to realize that, you know, you can't have it on there forever. Every the... time there's a big change, there's huge amounts of complaints. And yeah. then they die off. So, 
The thing that I think help, this helps most is for pushing player interaction, because before people would just buy their own stuff in, but now they actually have reasons to be in groups and yeah. you know buying ships from people or whatever you know. Mm -hmm. Rather or than just group. I'm going to go do my thing. Like it was convenient to be able to buy in with with you know credits, but oh yeah, imagine a world where instead of having a plentiful amount of credits in your players in your faction or just in your uh, inventory. You had a plentiful amount of materials, and that's the thing. It's just the thing at the moment. People are just still thinking, "I need credits," so they go and sell all their blocks, get credits, <laughs> and then find that they have to buy blocks with them. And then they find the shops empty, and then they find that they have to craft stuff, and then they realise they've just sold all their materials. <laughs> and it's sort of like, "I've just wasted four hours. I'm going to rage now." And then you wake up the next day and start mining again. So. I don't know. I, I think it's a good move for the game. I don't think I'm going to be turning it off. There are other servers where they've turned it off, but they'll be looking really stupid when the new features come in and we're all used to the concept and they're not because they're still living in the... But we want to buy things with credits and insta-spawn titans, you know, because that's what happens. You find a way to make lots of money and then you insta-spawn giant ships in. So... I don't think that's a good right. I don't think that's a good idea for gameplay. It should take a while for you to get the ship in and you know. I don't I don't think shops are a good idea, to be honest. If it was up to me, there wouldn't be any shops. <clears throat> but I realise that people need shops because sk skill curve, you know. Some people aren't um, that and buying derelicts and things like that. Um, you can buy, yeah, you can, you can buy derelicts. That's the only thing credits are good for now, if you ask me. Yeah, but if you don't have any shops, how are you going to get the credits? The pro, the problem is there's no credit generating machine. Yeah, but you don't need machine other there's, than... there's no faucet other yeah, than, than the shops. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But in a material-based economy, you don't try to get credits anyway. I appreciate no, there's I, no I, credit. No, but we're not there <laughs> yet. Do you know what we need? learn a lesson from starbound someone needs to put in a uh freaking uh feature request for a credit refinery yeah mm. well that's what i what i'm saying i can make so credits there's myself. no way to get there's no yeah. way to get those the credits that you need no i, I appreciate other that, than yeah. shops yeah. right now so yeah. no, I, I don't, no reason to take them i out. can't argue with that so but but but, but even one so, faucet too many sinks yeah but even well yeah. well depends doesn't it i mean everyone starts with 25 million i mean which i think we should reduce at this point do you think we don't need that any well you can't buy ships with it anymore so the argument right. for having that much is kind of pointless i would say you put it down to two and a half so they've got enough to buy a station block with it if they're a noob because mm -hmm. well, yeah. 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 the noob i'm down with that yeah okay so block, put that yeah. down so yeah Reduce uh, starter credits to one uh, two point five million. Okay. All right, new admin ships. We got enough admins um, in here. Oh, we be before we jump yeah. off of the new universe server yep. sort of thing. Yep. yep. Uh, just something. To open for uh, discussion more than anything. Yeah. Would anybody want to either change or at least discuss? The possibility of changing some of the the configs that we had, whether it's like non-physical water or like okay, reducing yeah, let's talk or about turning it because, off, let's talk about it. Uh, dampening like, or anything like that. I like non-physical water. Yep. Yeah. We, any, if we all agree on that, that one's easy. So we'll turn non-physical water back on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Next return. When are we gonna do this reset? Probably in about a week or two, max. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, wait, ah. <laughs> Actually, Calvary has something uh, he asked me about earlier. The, we, there's a new config which we'd like to try out, which is to do with the damage of blocks. Sorry, the HP of blocks. Cal, did you want to say anything about that? Or, because it's, because it's, you remember the, you remember the black and yellow lines when they changed the HP and they all look damaged, but they're not really damaged. It's because the they just had changed. more health, They've but got the more... old health was saved in the block state. Yeah. So the old health was being retained while the new max health was higher. Yeah. So they showed up as damaged. 
Exactly. And the thing is that we I wanted to put the config on so that we could all play with the new settings. But unless you build a new ship or actually go around and repair everything, everything, every single block will look damaged. And I thought people will have a nerd flip over it. So no matter how many uh, notices I put up, every time a player logs in, he's going to go, my ship's damaged everywhere. And, and, and it's difficult. It's difficult. That'll definitely be what happens. Yeah, so I'm thinking... It's always what happens. I want to try it out. I might even put it on my single player and... I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. So I wanted to mention that to you guys. So the new values are higher? Yeah, there's more HP in blocks, apparently. Is that right, Cal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean... I'm Sounds like a good with... thing to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. actually... I like That's that. That's a welcome change, it... definitely. Mm -hmm. It definitely fixes some of the problems that you end up with, with um, just in combat. Because shields are so strong, and your hull just dies instantly. So I'm I'm down with that. And we could definitely at least try it out. Why don't we, when the new universe goes live, why don't we use that? And if if things get screwed up. We can always just go backwards. People might have, you know, super powered HP ships for a little while until they start taking damage, in which case they don't have that anymore. Kind of like an overcharge. No, uh, if you reduce damage, it... Uh, hey, it fixes it. it oh. Yeah, it, it, if you reduce damage, it drops anything above that down to the cap. Well, there you go. Then yeah. if, if it turns out that that's just not, you know, not a good idea, I don't think that'll um, happen. But if it does, then... well. The way I see it, guys, new configs are like the next move in the chess game that is Star Made Development. So I like to go and stick with the moves rather than wait until we see if he got checkmate in three or not. Because I don't think it would be a good idea to go back. Like, if we were to try it out, we'd be sticking with that setting until we do Universe Reset. And then we'd probably end up with that setting after Universe Reset. It's tricky, mate. You know, we're either well, going to check it out or we're not. Well, it's going to be the stock one. If I it's gonna end up being the top <coughs> one in the game, then yeah, we should get it. Mm. But yeah. it might not end up being the it stock might one get, in the game. Yeah, it it's, might it's, not be fine. Right. This is this is just me experimenting. I think we should put right. it on devs. I think we should put it on the dev server instead and see. Dev server makes a return. Yeah, dev server phone. makes a return. Uh, in current build. Nice. For new config set, new configs, new con. Config research. Yep. Okay. No, I, I noticed. Uh, uh, so when when Saber was talking, he noticed uh, linear uh, friction uh, off. Now uh, linear and rotational dampening. Yeah. So you want to okay. turn drag off? Uh, I, I just want to discuss off. it. I don't want to necessarily say yes. Let's okay. do it. I just want to okay. discuss it because so, there are some really cool things that you can do, especially oh, with stations. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. So you can throw like oh, rings yeah. around them and make them spin, and as long as you're yeah, as long as the sector's drawing, like it'll forever. keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Drag discussion. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can do with it is Only, if you're uh, in your ship. Weekends. Only a weekend. <laughs> weekends at Bernie's. Uh -huh. Um. But uh, if you're in your ship, it'll sort of act as a cruise control because you can just set it and then yeah, walk around and your then ship. Yeah, just let go. Yep, mm -hmm. I understand yeah. that. We are an advanced server, so I think people yeah. should understand that we do change things yeah. and we do. <laughs> we're not looking, you know, noobs. Learn to break, yeah. noob. I think actually yeah. this is a good yeah. idea, mate. Because yeah, no, uh, people that, will complain that's... at first, I think, because they'll just get out of their ship and it'll keep going, but they need yeah. to understand yeah. they absolutely have to stop it or dock it. No oh, frick, oh, hey, no, dock no. it or lose it. Most there we go. of those oh, ideas right, can't, are coming from, it sounds to me like that's focusing more towards the linear friction. Now, rotation friction, I don't Ro know. I think rotation that is more for some cool I've always effects. looked at them. See, I've always looked at them as inertial dampeners, and it's a shame yeah. that it's not a module that you can turn on and off. I hate to say it, but <laughs> that looking at some other game we know about, I hate to say it, but that was actually uh, uh, a good idea. Was, yeah. yeah. But then they do. No, it's not. Yeah, Minecraft. But, <laughs> yeah, but even Minecraft. in that Cube game, World. yeah, even in that game, you got to hit a button for it. So yeah. it's not 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 as good. Like, it would be great if you had an overdrive-like system which just turned inertia, like, turned inertia dampening off, you know? Mm -hmm. Boom. We call yeah. it, what do we call it? Physics drag? It's, yeah. 
Something... Well, in the config, it's inertial dampening and rotational dampening. Oh, yeah. Right. I thought it was something drag, but I don't know. Uh, I don't mm. think so. I don't know. It's been a while since I've changed You're it. Like, I use it in right, my recording mate. client. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. Because uh, I like no. using it for the cool effects you can do with it. Right. Now, so you gave a lot of, you know, for linear. Now, what about rotation? What about some effects that could be done with rotation? Well, we'd put so... it all off, wouldn't we? You put rotation well, yeah. off one as well. Off. Well, you know, yeah, you can if, turn if them both, they're two different, two different settings. Yeah. I would say turn them both off, rotational and mm -hmm. linear. You'd add collision damage, gar. Oh, that's a bit intense for all the players. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe especially on the dev with, server, yeah? Especially with the <laughs> <Yeah. off. laughs> That would be too much, I think. But Yeah, uh, I think you, you're not going to want to do that with you know, inertial dampening and rotation yeah. dampening off, because people are going to, one, not be used to that and start running into everything. Mm -hmm. And two, lose all their shit because of it. That's the yeah. idea. And then it's just going to be so much fishing. Oh, it'd be hilarious. Mode. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> it's going to end up causing serious problems for us and more headaches for us. Just not fun. Oh, well, let's just, if we're going to do like super crazy Evolver stuff, died. let's just turn off all the indicators in every sector. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So that's, that's Unless that you pop thing. a scanner and then you get the indicators for about five seconds and that's it. Yeah. So, uh, Tom. Yes. So far, I've added a uh, a castle-like starting zone and a cave-like expansion zone that you have to go through to get to a uh, an entire portion of the map. Whoa! Like nice. it's like it's Wait, what you, the map's shot, almost cut. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll castles. get there. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, uh, the, right. the the black burnt dirt, yeah, that that's basically black sand. Uh, yeah. Um, Colored lava I, confirmed. All right. So anyway, new adminship <laughs> vote for Lego Robot Seventeen. No. No. He's got my I'm vote. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Tom. I I'm not actually voting here. So. <laughs> no, I will vote for him. <laughs> okay, Kyle. What's the problem? He's immature, arrogant, narcissistic, and argumentative. We have the that's right Lego. Not right? Actually, I have not seen any of those. I, I hate to say it, but that's that's not actually a valid condition for saying no. 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 Cause... no. No, not Lego, Lego Robot. Lego Robot 17. Yeah. Not Lego. Yeah, yeah the, there's not like Lego three Legos, just yeah, make sure right, you have okay. the right one. Just to make it qualify it, yeah, did you see the awesome ship next to the planet when we were streaming? The one that had the awesome photo that was like... Yeah, he, he built the Icarus, the Olympus was his latest one, which is... Yeah, he's been the guy that, that does the lens things. flares in his photo mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, he's also the guy that had an argument with three people in lounge oh? that, um, talking right. site about... Um, okay, tell me about it. It was with Phantom, Chicken Wild Style, and someone else. I heard it's a little bit of it. It's not hard to argue with Chicken, but Phantom... Yeah. Okay, so what, what happened fair. then? Tell, Break it down, mate, because obviously we're having to distribute he, this to everybody. He was uh, he was going along saying that if you change... If you make a sentence in the English language and change the two words, it won't change the meaning. He was proven wrong, but then continued to go on with his argument, proving himself it wrong sounds, repeatedly. All right, all right. It sounds like he was... He heard too something. arrogant to oh, say he was wrong. Okay, but then I'm pretty sure that we've had incidences with a number of other people. I'm looking at his ability. I'm looking at his ability to actually, you know, build ships and not be an idiot. If you're saying there's been one incidence in the whole year that we've known him, that I can think of. Mm. That is that, one and also, he's hardly ever wrong. Well, and I get the feeling that someone can build you shouldn't justify an adminship vote. Yeah, well, it's not. It's more than that, actually. He's been very active lately, helping out with stuff. I don't have a problem with him. No one else has a problem with him. This is the first time well, we've heard anything. And I guess they go was on a probation, up. so it's not like they get full admin straight away. Yeah, I was going to say, if we could always just give him a, a, a mod or a uh, the other one. I we're always, yeah, we're always, yeah, because I would say give him moderator for now. Yeah. <coughs> That's uh, why I was friend. Because we need moderators. We, everyone's yep. yeah. either an admin or silent, which is basically an op. And like, you know, because Jath is actually going the right way to being an admin, but he's still op. So, Plus he needs a, like, yeah. he needs a friend. <laughs> right? He needs friends. Well, I'm thinking things. that like Lego and Jath would make good moderators moving forward because we're looking for people that are active online, click buttons, and whitelist occasionally. Mm -hmm. That's so what we I... have to nominate someone for the position of operator or you, not. You can, yes. Guthrie's. 
Actually, he was speaking Guthrie's about it. came up as well, mate. So I should really put that name down yeah. as well. We'll put yeah. that to vote as I well. Fully yes, he that was, one. Yeah, he was talking about um, he wanted to give back to the community and stuff. And I, he was also talking about, um, cause you know, when I come up talking to you about that planet thing, mm -hmm. all right? It's actually his idea. He wants to make some sort of War Thundery Halo esque um, planet thing. Give him. Yeah, so yeah he really so wants to get into the. So are we thing, looking yeah. at yeah. Get, we putting him on admin probation or moderator first? What do we think? I, think? I think moderator. unless we're really sure about somebody, I think we should usually just start him moderator. out as moderator. Yeah, it's yeah. A good moderator. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to say this much, at least when it comes to Lego, I don't doubt his shipbuilding skill mm -hmm. or his knowledge in the game. Um, but I haven't seen him having a charge position before, ever. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. I would like to see what he does in moderator, mm -hmm. as a moderator, and we'll give him like a two week long trial. That'll give him plenty of time to either impress us or fuck up. Yeah. Especially when and, the restart coming. And the reset. Oh, wait, yeah, after there'll the be a reset. reset. Yeah. After yeah. the reset, we'll put him in as a full admin if, if he's he does burning. well. I think that's um, good. Yeah, Guthris, yes. I have seen in a power position. I still want him as a moderator first, yeah. personally. But I think he would be a great addition to the moderator team, and that way we've got three. Okay. You can, I, mm. I'm okay with Jaff going to moderator. I don't know about full adminship personally yeah. yet. He's he's prone <laughs> to... I've seen him prone to some outbursts here yeah, and there. So Nothing too I, major, yeah. but here and there. To where I sit there and go, I don't know if I want to give him full adminship powers as of yet. Well, you know, let him hang himself if he wants to, but uh, moderator I think would be good. If we move those three to moderator, that'd be, I I think that'd be good. Okay. All yeah. right. So finally, is that, if anyone got anything else? Um, no. One for future consideration. Not right now. Yeah. He's been doing better when it comes to outbursts, things like that. Yeah. Uh, chicken. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, I was thinking about that as well. To see if he hangs himself as well, because I think Chicken could be a good moderator. He's got a tendency to say stupid shit once in a while and all, but he does. Once he has been while. really good about not doing it in lounge. Yeah, and he not was, doing when, it he, when, he, when he played mm -hmm. with Rip, it was a little bit of an interesting combination. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I think that sometimes certain players can influence others, and that does count mm -hmm. for a lot. Okay. Yeah, and so <laughs> I think him as an op, as a new op, would be interesting, and it could be good, and it could be horrendous. Mm. But uh, <laughs> you know, it could I be think... the biggest mistake of human history. But <laughs> you know, chicken and Rip just don't get along. No, Three yeah. men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, like me. That's yeah. us. Chicken's <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Chicken's my friend, and I say that's a bad idea. Talking about wanting to watch the well, I think and I want to see I, the universe. I will say this thing. right now, yes. and this is just from personal experience. Um, sometimes people can really surprise you when they're given responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second that they're given responsibility, they shape the fuck up, and sometimes they melt down. And... Yeah, sometimes you go, "That was a bad idea." <laughs> right, and if you know, if it's a bad idea. We can always take it back. He would mm -hmm. he would be an op, and he you know that'd be fine. But um, as long as he you know, I think as long as we explain to all you know four of them technically, you know what their role is, what they're meant to be doing, and their the limits of their power, if you will, then it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Uh, on on the topic, you know you know who I was considering honestly up until he literally went down the drain horribly. Ender. Yeah. I was no. surprised that. that oh. he, no, no, I, he I, looked I, good I was, at I, first. I, he did look he, good. He did look good. He looked great. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, and suddenly he sort of went off the deep end. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I thought it was just the thing is this is what happens when role play goes wrong, okay? <laughs> Because this is the thing, we never did <laughs> yeah, role play, yeah, yeah. and then suddenly we switched on the role play thing. I get emails from people saying, um, "Do you allow role play on the server? Because we want to have a galaxy and enforce our freaking declaration of independence, and we've got a constitution." Then, then you need to go to the galaxy on your own and yeah, enforce but... it on your own. Oh, I know. That's <laughs> what I said to them. But the point is, it's like you know, these guys come out with like seven levels of s sanity. Um, and yeah. it can be interesting to accommodate that when 
people take on a role. I'm going to be Darth Maul. And then they're going to go and abuse everyone in the chat room because they're Sith. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? So <laughs> the thing is, the role play has to stop at a point. And this is why we don't mm. really endorse it, if you know what I mean. We don't really... Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of people that can't make that disconnect. Like, there are. Uh, we can go from having like a big, let's say, actually this happened, um, like having a big battle against Ender. And after there were some major problems that happened. Mm. So then Dalmon and I both went into his TeamSpeak channel and we turned it off. And then so we talked to him and we could tell he was still a little bit upset at us, but it was like, you need to turn it off, dude. Like it's, we're it's admins, game. we're here we're to help you playing. now. Yeah, yeah. It's not like we went in the globe, mm -hmm. we were there to help him with yeah, his so situation. Like yeah, so yeah and I, people I, need I to understand the same but, thing. But what you've switch. got to be aware of yeah, is... Floodlights on, masks off, the, okay, the here's what's is, going down. The thing is, you've got to be aware, though, as we are running the server, that there is a social interaction sort of component that might have the risk of turning into an ugly popularity contest. Oh, yeah. And so mm -hmm. this is one thing we've got to be aware of and try to get away from. And I think if Dalmont was here, he'd probably have some wise words about it. But... We'll have to wait for his addendum. For yeah, talking about now. talking about Ender, right? The reason that all started is because a certain person was feeding them lies, feeding him lies. Right? Someone was telling him that people were out to get him and stuff like that, and didn't like him and was saying stuff about him. So he he would sort of like be nasty to those people, and those people didn't know what was going on, so they just assumed that Ender went crazy. Well, that's partially true and partially not. He, I placed a bounty on him at one point, and his friends, quote unquote, collected it and killed him for you know, yeah, it was like a hundred thousand credits. And you know, it's like it's one of those things where it was, you know, I didn't have the time to go and attack him myself, and it was part of the RP part of it. Yeah, and it's... he took that really, really, really badly, apparently. Yeah, he took a lot of things badly. You see, the person who was feeding him stuff admitted that he'd been doing it over months and that he'd been doing it purposefully. And this is the problem with roleplay. You get people that think they're spies who basically yeah. lie. <laughs> yep. And so, yeah, so this is one thing we've got to keep an eye on. They're basically assholes That's trolling yeah, people and they think trolls. it's a game. They're basically trolls and they think they can win. I can win. <laughs> I can win. <laughs> Um, so, Tom, yeah, make sure you put in a note there under Corrupt Again that uh, all exports will have to be done before this. None will come in after that unless mm. people want corrupted sectors. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, that could work, I guess. But This is why we're trying to get done up on time. So, uh, yeah. thank you for asked for saying that. We'll just get on to mm -hmm. that. First of all, the Mushroom Fleet website opened up on the 10th of December. It still doesn't take non WWW traffic, which is suffer, making it suffer. But since uh, since then, we've had 3,228 hits, which is 4,000 all time. So, yeah, that's that's brilliant. A round of applause. Nice job, yeah, guys. That means the website's doing great because, you know, that means equivalent membership plus more has been through that, which is good because it means that if we actually start doing stuff with it, there's a point to it. Also, I have actually been putting up um, easy to see links to that as well on my channel. Nice. Which is nice. Um, so then there's the G Plus. We've now got 2,658 members, which is lovely when you're trying to talk to people about, you know, getting things. Obviously, I don't do it much, but, you know, <laughs> use it, guys. <laughs> um, for the uh, for the website, are we going to end up putting up the? Because I remember a while ago you had a playlist there coming. Are, are we still putting up that stuff? We, yeah, that's something. That's something which is further down as well. Um, okay. Yeah, basically, I need to get playlists from everyone. I, I'm going to get to that. Uh, let's run through this real quick. So sure. the Mushroom Fleet Network. What we're doing is we're expanding the group, our gaming community, which has been growing nicely over the last nearly two years. And we're going to start trying to use everyone's abilities a little bit more because we've got like we've got sound engineers, we've got three D modelers, we've got artists, we've got every it's all this talent. And then there's all these shipbuilders. Everyone's meeting in one place. So I think it'd be Hello. a great opportunity for anybody that does star made videos to get in touch with other people. And at the moment, although G Plus is great, it's limited. So what the plan is, <clears throat> and you probably heard me saying this before, but this is for other people that aren't here as much as that. 
Um, We've outgrown G plus in terms of cooperation and collaboration. So we're moving over to a Slack system. I need to get all of the admins signed up on there and up to speed with it. If they have any problems with it, just ask me. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a website and it's an app on Android, Apple and Windows. And it's effectively a private messaging system with group rooms and the public channel. Um, I'm going to be turning off Giphy because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people just post caps <laughs> okay that's but i'm not going to turn the bot down you've just got to ignore the bot it's a bit of fun and it only actually does anything in general or random um there is also a twitter feed that comes in i might hide it but i'm going to leave it public for now because it doesn't seem to have a negative um <laughs> we'll see um basically if anything goes at mushroom fleet like the server's down yeah, it'll pop in there. And it's just another way to <laughs> try and get the server back up, I guess. It does mean, though, that anybody in here, because we can selectively pull anybody in that we want to talk to. Say you see someone that's making awesome ships. Say you see someone that's doing awesome videos. Whatever it is, um, we're going to have a page with an invite, okay? Um because I'm going to slowly start inviting more and more people in. And it's not just a YouTube YouTubers collaboration thing. It's also a place where you can grab hold of a builder that you like his ships and maybe want to do a co-op with him just for the sake of it. Um, I think there's a lot that can be said about that. Say he's built a ship that you want to do a video with. Ask him if he's got a link on the dock. Sometimes you can't get him on Star Made Dock. But we do know these people, you know. Because they've come and played with us. So um, the whole point is just to organise all of that and make it better for all the time zones. There's further stuff in the pipeline. And has anyone got anything to say? I don't, does anybody want to talk about stats? I think we're done. Why holes? Why <laughs> holes? Corrupt again, guys. Because we're going to do the universe reset, we thought it would be fun to tie in the Corrupt Ageddon, which is effectively a tie-in with General's series from last year, the Tacitus AI. Um, it's just a, a meta, a meta uh, short, a series of meta shorts, I guess, um, and effectively, you go around corrupting stuff. It's a really simple process. General's done it a whole bunch of times. Um, you you just slap a bunch of organic looking stuff on ships. It's corrupted now. Um, and then it's we're ripping off the Borg. That's what we're doing. Um, and we'll corrupt stations and ships. Fucking hell, that's I think we could tie this into some stuff that we've been doing too. Well, I'm hoping to tie it in with as many people's things as possible. So every faction yeah, will we've got get an opportunity to do it for sure. Yeah, like every faction will have an opportunity to tie in with their met their meta, whatever they're doing. And so I'm hoping for it to become sort of like we're going to rip off the Mass Effect. OK, so the whole point is, but, but we'll set it off on purpose. <laughs> yeah. So whatever it is, the, 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 the uh, rough outline is. They come, we fight them, we win a little bit, we lose a little bit, but they just keep coming, so we end up hitting the reset button. And then through whatever meta you want to make up, everyone survives. We blow up the universe? Yeah, we blow up all the we blow up the multiverse. You know, all galaxies must go. You know? And then one galaxy and then isn't it's enough. all reconstructed magically and yeah. we're all back together. Exactly. Well no, not us. Well we, we you can invent some kind of crazy thing. Just invent some crazy device. Yeah, like it could be a it could be a, a TARDIS, it could be <laughs> a improbability the drive. Omega 13. Yeah, the Omega Thirteen. Whatever your meta is, See, there must be a dimension slip, just for long enough for everything to reset, and then when you come back, it's all reset. And then it's then then because I'm going to bring out a short series on it. I'm sure General will as well. And it would yeah. be it would be amazing if we could tie it in with as many people as possible. I'd love to see the Imperium. Having a standoff, the Federation are going to have a standoff with it, whether they like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think we could actually work it into our Dawn of the Empire series because kind of the plan for that was always to transition out of the 
the style that we were doing mm -hmm. and so i think what we could do is like after the the corruption whatever kind of takes over mm -hmm. instead of doing like a crazy machine whatever we'll just make basic make sound where it's like we just moved on or like we found a new home or something like yeah we, yeah like packed up all in one ship we and... found a new dimension and then ah maybe that ah, maybe the imperium find the dimension that we scupper to yeah or like go we to a wormhole this and one pop and... in there yeah just at the moment we all jump we set off the device <laughs> <laughs> and they leave nothing Thank behind me. i'll see you on the other side the y -bomb. we yeah. hope the y bomb we hope it yeah. doesn't follow us through yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> and then it's like next time we have to do a reset we just do like a five second video of this little corrupted spore floating. they found us again <laughs> <laughs> and then well, it's like be... i've got a cedar ship so yeah. I can just perhaps go through the little just blip. have one little cedar just got through at the end and then it lands on the damage I've already, got, I've already got the footage for that so this is what i mean and then it's it, then we've made the universe reset a mm -hmm. featured part of the server meta which i think is kind of cool anyway and we yeah. wouldn't have to do it every time we could just rerun these videos when <laughs> server reset <laughs> rerun the videos this yeah. is what happened <laughs> this is what happened again so and I'm, I'm 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 thinking we are ourselves but in the game you know, just like we do all day, every day. Yeah. So it's kind of like making what we do uh, a machinima, mm -hmm. but without it needing to actually be scripted. Because it is it's something that we've done a few times. We'd have to go around. Yeah. We just have to film certain st stages of it, you know? That's actually exactly what, we, what at least my original concept was for Dawn of the Empire. Like, start out with, like, one, maybe two slightly scripted episodes, but then just turn into just me, you know, me and the guys, and then mm -hmm. just what we would do in these situations. Mm. So I think that'll blend really well with that. Nice. Okay. So I, I would say, not speaking for the entire Imperium, but it sounds like something we could definitely do at the entire Imperium. Have a sweet battle somewhere. Cool. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it only oh, needs... we can have a sweet battle. Trust. Oh yeah. Me. Well, it's, it's 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 one or as many videos as you can do on it, yeah. and you know we'll be doing various bits and pieces for it over the next two weeks. So you know we'll try to film. We've tried to do because it's all set anyway, so it won't actually be the whole universe. It's going to get done. We're only going to yeah. do this little pocket here and this little pocket there, and mm. say it's everywhere. <laughs> you know. Because Star Trek, we learned well from their production techniques. You know, hey man. What, you mean using three shots for like yeah. six seasons of outdoor shots? Yeah, like they just look, they're like he looks out and he's like, oh my god. And it's like yeah. some painting. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing Christmas there. Lights scrolling by the window. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so that'll be that. Uh, the meta dimension bomb will be set off. And that might help explain. Because then, of course, if anybody goes, why has the server been reset? People will just be linking their videos. Like, this is why. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> you weren't there, man. You don't know. If only you were there. You so, never experienced it, man. Yeah, you had yeah, hope horrible. the corrupted never come back. That's why it's <laughs> such an apt name. Because it's like, oh, the universe became corrupted. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, that's why I like it. Anyway. Um, finally, I think, Docking Hub. So, this is where the playlists come in. Um, Mushroom Fleet Docking Hub is going to have a bunch of static playlists on its front page. I know people made me uh, playlists, but I think I lost the links in the mists of time. So if people could be so kind as to PM me on Slack, I will never forget, and it will get done. Because I don't work. Don't yeah. worry, you'll forget in about ten minutes. No, I won't. Because I won't. It'll get. It'll get done. It'll just take a little while. Yeah. Well, no. It'll. <laughs> it'll be right. It'll be there again. Well, your I can name, easily so. do it myself because yeah. there's yeah, more than well, one person in. in the... Exactly. Ah, put it in uh, my ready room then. Yeah. Because yeah, if you po post the links in my ready room, then at, in general we'll see it too, and he's also admin on that channel, so that makes sense. I'm admin on that channel. There we yeah, go. Yeah, a couple of you are as well, so. So yeah, there we go. So awesome. So this is what I'm In saying. In fact, Ryben added his uh, own playlist on there. I think. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah but that's to. it. That's the <laughs> well, that's the way to do it, mate. If you're admin, yeah. then because I must admit, I don't think I've even put anything on there yet. But anyway. Oh yeah. But the point is, we've been trying to. F we, well, we've been putting a shitload on everything recently, but um, right. So future admin announcements will only be on Slack. 
So if people, have, if admins have questions for other admins, they should only take place in either the admin channel if they want everyone to see it or just between those two people. It's good because it means you can go back and see what was said, you know, um, and like I say, it's easy to contact all the admin groups. So, for example, if you banned somebody and there was a reason for it, maybe you could put that in the uh, MF admins channel there because then everyone's going to have at least the opportunity to see it if they're interested because this is I appreciate this is optional I don't want to be telling people to do all this stuff all the time but I think if you've got the option to at least keep an eye on things then it's there you know um, and I think it will benefit everyone in the long run because like I say, we've got Crusade in uh, content creators with a whole bunch of other people. I want to get Yelby in there because he does the modeling as well. I know Saber's a dark horse. <laughs> I do 3D modeling. Yeah, you'd be surprised Same. who does 3D modeling. <laughs> yeah. um, I wish taught you, but then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like running a bike. It's because At least I... I got a degree on it. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Slack's going to be the future of collaboration and communication. You can just drag and drop images in there. You can even drag and drop videos in there. For example, what me and Von Doom have been doing is dragging a clip. He'll dub it and drag it back to me. And then we've been collaborating on a whole bunch of stuff in that way. And that back and forth technique it integrates with Google Drive and Google Hangouts. Um... So you can type like slash hangout and it will do a hangout and you can screen share or you can. And there's no lag either, which is way better than Twitch. Um, also, you can do. I don't know. I don't know how to how the drive integration works yet. I think you just have to post the Google Drive link. I haven't, I haven't tested it. Yeah, uh, we use Slack for moderator on the site as well on the nice. starting dock well, it's so, a brilliant system yeah. like yeah no it's, if you guys it's really, know how really it's nice, used but... then that's beautiful because you can tell people how it's done as well because i understand the very basics i'm not gonna lie i'm it's i'm i'm not on there nearly as much as i should be um but i'll try to start being on there a little bit more often It's just those damn, it's like, uh, it's not the notifications, because you can turn those off, that's not a problem. But when recording, how many pages do you really need open? Oh, well, I would close it and have desktop notifications off. Also, you can yeah. hit the arrow under the hashtag for the channel and change yeah. channel, your notification settings. Yeah, no, I, so, I like, already if you're getting have all a lot that of spam, done now. Yeah, if you're getting spam, then it's right there. I mean, to be honest, I uh, take all of this with a pinch of salt. It's just something else to check out, and it's a little bit more filtered than G+. You know? Yeah, G+, like, is holy a good shit, did you see? Hub, but... It is good, but there's a lot of stuff on there, which can, mm -hmm. be, can be a problem. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw... General, what the hell were you doing with your photos yesterday? Uh, what did you something? do? Did you, <laughs> did you do effects on it? Well, I first used that lighting effect I showed you the, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I put a... Super blue. Just threw a shitty fucking yeah, thing called paint on that. Oh, I know what you've done, yeah. So you've then posted the... Yeah, yeah, to do the... Yeah. It looked better first, though, didn't it? The original. Anyway, yeah. That's probably a bug, by the way, so we don't even know if that'll carry on. Um... I hope it does. It'll look great on video footage. Yeah, the images are in hashtag general. Um, some of the pictures are a bit more shiny. Shiny. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's it. That's done. So does anybody want to add anything? Because we're at the end, so additional stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't um... think so. I think if anything, yeah, if anything, we should, if there's anybody that, for, for those that weren't here, if there's anybody that has any 
Uh, thoughts on the new admin ship? Make sure you make those known ASAP. So if there's if anybody that wasn't here, either is for any of the people for I think we said what Jaff, Chicken, Lego, yeah, and Guthris. If anybody has any problems with them, they need to bring that to either my attention, to Tom's attention, really all of us, so that we kind of are all on the same page um, as soon as you possibly can. And if you've got any endorsements, definitely. Another thing for hashtag yeah. MF admins. Yep, definitely, definitely be making your voice heard. If there's, if you've got any nominations, what, what do you say, Tom? Two days. Mm -hmm. We have two, two, three days to make any more nominations before oh. we. Oh no, mate! Them. We're gonna do these meetings more regularly. I want to have more well, no. shorter meetings. Then we don't have to sit here for hours. Uh, yeah, no joke. Uh, like, no, I just mean for, for hour, an you know? admin thing. Yep. Oh well, for... to do with the ones from here, like yeah, they got two days to make their voices known. To be honest, yeah. I mean, in fact, in fact, no, no, they don't. No, they don't. They got to wait till the next meeting. I, that, that was one of the things. I appreciate some people can't make it, but if they can't make it, they can't complain. It's unfortunate, but it's true because we can't hear them. You know, we can't think for them. If they can turn up, great. I'll say two-day window this time round because the system's new, but from next week there won't be any grace because we'll expect everyone to be active enough to have within a week got on board with that system because I don't want the admin stuff going out public anymore. And there's no need to put it in the chat in the game to all the players. So, you know, it's a bit of a disorganized. Is it Skype? Is it TeamSpeak? Is it, is it G Plus? Do I message him on? So this will be a centralized. It's just centralization. So there you go. All right. Okay. This week, two days in future, attendance is your vote. There we go, because, you know, it's like if you don't want to be involved in the voting process, don't come to the meeting. You can still help out and not be involved in that. You know, I'd say if you, if you want to have a say in the runnings of things, come to the meetings. If you can't make it, then we'll put up a discussion about different time for the meeting. The only reason I picked Midnight Wednesday is because everyone thought there was going to be a lineup and this is when we used to do lineups and that was a very busy night when most people were around. So I thought we'll aim here and if we want to move it to a different day or a different time then we can talk about that. Hey Tom, I'm going to go to sleep. You guys have fun. Good night Carl. See you guys. See you Carl. And, and that's pretty much it guys. So unless anyone has anything desperate I'd say you can all go and have fun and play games and things again. <laughs> Yay! So basically what you're saying, Tom. If you weren't doing that the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm getting, I've got 21 and 2 right now. I'm not oh, building on my ship. You want, I, I totally <laughs> haven't been building on my ship this entire time. No. And only Lich half says what? what? <laughs> Lichgrave so... says what? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what was that? when are the moderators? Oh. When are the moderators getting their moderator stuff? Uh, it will be for a little while. N n probably tomorrow. All right. Expect within the next forty-eight hours. Yeah. Two days. 